Seriously, do not lose this recipe. This chocolate pie has it all. This is the best chocolate pie recipe ever. This is another potluck favorite that I wanted to share with you, so let's go ahead and get started on this. You can purchase pie crust or you can make your own homemade, but you need to go ahead and bake that. Now to make this yummy chocolate pie filling. You will need two thirds cup of flour, two thirds cup of cocoa. The recipe calls for one cup of sugar. I am actually doubling this recipe, so I would need two cups of sugar, but I only added one cup and two thirds cup of sugar. Go ahead and mix that really well. Do not cut that stove top eye on yet. Add two sticks of butter and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Two cans of evaporated milk. Now we are going to need six eggs and make sure you get the caleza out of those eggs. Add these six eggs to the chocolate mixture and blend that really well. You want to keep stirring, getting that egg really mixed in. Turn your stovetop eye on to medium. And go ahead and stir and stir until you get that butter almost melted. Then you can actually leave this for a moment and clean up your mess that you've made in the kitchen, but do not leave this for very long. Come back and stir. This chocolate pie actually does take a little patience and you're gonna keep stirring and you're going to start seeing clumps like this. No worries, this chocolate pie turns out smooth and silky every time. Once it gets really thick and clumpy, go ahead and take it off of the stovetop eye. That, drop it in that pie shell and go ahead and smooth it out. Cover it with tin foil. I like to do this the day before and put it in the refrigerator. I get it out the next morning and top it with some whipped cream. I used two small tubs here of whipped cream. You can take a tablespoon and just fluff it up and make it look all nice and pretty. I actually don't make what I call cow slobber, the meringue. I like the whipped cream a lot better, but you do you. Now, I also like to freeze a Hershey's chocolate bar and shave it onto the top of the whipped cream. It just makes it look so much more pleasing. You can use a potato peeler for this or a very sharp knife. And this pie is the best chocolate pie I've ever found. And if you don't have a lid for this, then you can always take another pan, put it on top, and use some duct tape to put it together. And this is so much easier to tote when you're going to family gatherings.